the whole concept of the broth is to concentrate the flavor of the flavoring ingredient that you're using in this in this case is the fish so what you do you take the heads and the bones where the flavor is and you boil it for many hours so that you transfer the flavor from the fish to the liquid and that's what we're smelling right now now that we've covered the basics of preparing what is the most important element for the soup which is the stock we can start assembling it and the way to do it is to start with the aromatics we have to start always with the onion because the onion is the aromatic that has the most moisture in it and we need to get it up so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just saute the onion so it sweats out we're going to add our garlic and let it just saute or sweat so that we're getting the moisture out of them some of the basic aromatics for the bouillabaisse other than the onion and the garlic is tomatoes which is very important that it needs to be peeled and we are also going to add a small bulb of fennel that's been chopped so we have two cups of onion some four cloves of garlic chopped two or three tomatoes peeled and chopped and the small bulb of fennel chopped and we are going to basically saute it and then we're going to add a little bit of pepper freshly ground pepper just to add that special French touch the important thing about sweating the aromatics is that we have to give it some time so that it, the flavors combine. And then we start adding our other flavor enhancers. The first one is going to be wine. And we also want to give a little bit of wine to the chef so that he's happy. In this case, because we're doing with a, a dish with fish, tradition says it has to be a white wine. I like to use a, a, a dry wine like a Sauvignon Blanc would be good. A chard could also work, but I prefer for this a, a, a Sauvignon Blanc. Add a little bit and then just let it reduce. And now we go with the stock. This is the important, look at the color of that stock. That is the important thing. And there we have it, our basics, the aromatics and the broth. Another important step is when the broth starts to boil, there's going to be this scum coming up to the surface and we have to get all that out that is basically the fat that is being sent to the surface because of the heat and we get it out and now we're ready to start adding the other elements that are going to be part of the bouillabaisse first we have the potatoes in this case we're using russets we're going to get some two or three of them and we're going to cut them up in dice like a quarter of an inch and we are going to put them in the soup why do we do the potatoes first because they are the ones that take the most time to cook that's how you do with these dishes that have different components the ones that take the longest to cook are the ones you put in first now we have the aromatics we have the broth we have the wine we have the pepper and now we have the potatoes in the meantime, a bouillabaisse without croutons and rouille is not a bouillabaisse. So we let the broth do its magic and we prepare the croutons. We just spray them with a little bit of olive oil and put them in the oven so that it will toast. And now we go and do the rouille, which is basically a bread with garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper and some cayenne pepper and we use the modern pestle to make the paste and this is this is a paste that is going to replace the butter for the big croutons that we have in the oven we are going to always add some extra virgin olive oil and now we are 
ready to finish the dish. The first thing that we add from the seafood are the clams. Why? Because the clams are the ones that take the longest to be cooked and they have to open. Then we add the mussels, let them cook for a while until they're almost done. And now we start with our fish, the hardest, the one that has the, 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 the hardest meat with the skin, we put in first, the softer ones at the end. And the very last thing that we're going to add are the shrimp because those only take a couple of minutes to get cooked. So now what do we have in that pot? We have the broth that we made with the, with the fish bones. We have the aromatics, onions, garlic, tomatoes, and the fennel. We have potatoes. We have mussels. We have clams. We have fish. And we have shrimp. And finally, we add the lobster because it's already cooked. We just want to warm it a little bit, put it in there, move it around, and then just take it out and serve it. I like to serve it in a clay pot because clay gives it a very special flavor that is very hard to get with any other kind of element. And now we have our clay pot with everything in it and ready to be served and eaten. That is what a bouillabaisse is. A bouillabaisse is a very fisherman stew. It's what the guys came back from fishing and prepared with whatever they brought. Fish, seafood, garlic, because they're French. Wine, because they're French. Bread, because they're French. And more garlic for the bread, because they're French.